I'm sure yeah. we'll have enough to talk about. Yeah, you I'm know? sure. I'm sure. But it's, it's like, you know, like you can't when you, when it's like a crowd, it's kind of like passive. But then like you know when it's like one or two people, it's active, right? You gotta, you know, like throwing a ball back and forth. Yeah, like throwing a ball back and forth. You can't rely on anyone else to. Yeah, I can't yeah. zone out. I'm not allowed to zone out during this entire interview. Oh man. If it makes you feel yeah. any better, I interviewed someone for like nine hours at one, one no, time. That doesn't yeah. make me feel better. <laughs> Why? Why does that not make that means, you feel better? That, that means you've got like a, you know, you've got like a, a reference of like what other people are capable of. You know, you don't know what I'm capable of. I'm yeah, crazy. Could, I, could, could. I could do anything. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> You, just, you never know. By the end of this, you might be talking about all the house fires you set and never got caught for it, you know? <laughs> it was midnight, and everyone in the NGP server was playing Gardic Phone. And out of the blue comes a Japanese name. It said JPN and a bunch of Japanese symbols, which I'm not familiar with, but apparently a lot of the artists that I was drawing with, they know kanji of some sort, and, you, and they start communicating with the Japanese player. And then they, they joined the, the voice chat, and they're like, I don't speak English good. So then they muted, but then they played Gardic Phone with us. And we all hung out, and we found out that this person's name was Kikupa. Because that's what it translated from with the Japanese symbols, apparently. And they came around a few more times. They would say hi to people in the server, explain that their English is definitely not good. We exchanged Twitters. We found out that their name on Newgrounds was Hedgehog Girl Net, which was weird. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's just random. But they changed it to Kikupa recently because they got starred in a Phantom Arcade animation after talking to johnny utah and i have been nothing but surprised and excited to see someone blow up from their love of new grounds because they have a really nice charming style and drawing new grounds related items coming from that user it always just looks really appealing this intro has been brought to you by my love for everyone that creates new grounds things and then gets recognition from it Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Zinzinix. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. This is episode number 55, and today I have my special guest, Stepford, but I would like to start off by thanking the ultimate Grand Super Patrons. We all have our own little way of doing it. I don't like yelling, I guess, so I'm just going to say them in the beginning. So, Tom Falp and Quartet G, thank you guys so much for being our ultimate Grand Super Patrons. And I would also like to start off with some New Grounds news. The Summer Animation Jam was announced today that's being hosted by Scarecrow Arts, which is a combination of Brandy Buizel, Malcolm Sith, and Dragon Coke. They chipped in $500 for this animation jam, and it's kind of like a, a like last man standing competition where you're ranked on points per round, and then the last person with the most points kind of wins. And currently the prompt is stay awake. And it looks like first place will get $500 at the end of all this. Second, $350. Third, $225. Fourth, $130. Fifth, $100. Newgrounds chipped in $500. X School, who I think is old school, who deleted their old pro- profile for some reason, chipped in $100. And then 53XY83457, which is Sexy Beast and Leet Speak, donated $100. They're kind of... um. A mystery to me because they donated to the sexiest outfit contest as well but i'm not entirely sure how much they do on new grounds and they still they donate so shout out to everyone who who donates to these things it makes it a bigger prize pool got judges some iconic judges almighty hans you might know from the episode we did with him nick Conter, great animator good friend of chutney glaze also plays a mean drawful if you ever get to play party games with him hey opc rap legend uh, a carrick they're a cool animator and they're currently doing 3d commissions so you should hit them up for that if you're interested in 3d commissions and as well as some other judges so that's kind of exciting got summer animation jams going on smiling friends got green lit i know everyone probably knows this already but i would like to to mold it in the podcast, Smiley Friends Greenlit. 
Zach decided to go with Adult Swim. A lot of people are questioning if he should have been independent instead because of the success that a lot of shows find just being independent. You get complete creative control, but I don't think anything really matches to understanding the inside of a production company like Adult Swim until you've experienced it firsthand. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes to Smiling Friends. Now, this is kind of old news, but Arzanaut is back um, April 18th. You can read their news post, Life as a Vagabond. What happened was Arzanaut's house got set on fire, burnt down, and he decided to stay out of his parents' way and kind of go get his own jobs, go find places to live. He participated in the Final Fantasy VII collab, so it's kind of a big deal to see one new grounder kind of struggle. And they had a, a not uh, maybe a GoFundMe, something that I donated to. I think it was their Ko-Fi or something like that. And they were asking for donations way back when their house caught on fire, which was like last year, September-ish, November-ish, or some, some, sometime late in the year. But they're back. Uh, the amazing artist, great animator. Ours are not. You should, should check them out, read their story that they went through. It kind of teaches you a lot going through some shit, so... Check them out. Tank Tribune is back. If anyone's interested in the Tank Tribune, it's kind of like an archive of everything that happens on Newgrounds. They do cool interviews. They just kind of put together a magazine, Newgrounds. So tanktribune.newgrounds.com. They got a Patreon as well. If you want to see more Tank Tribune, look them up. Will KMR officially dead. Everyone is very shocked about the train accident. He has decided to step down as a host. He will be a regular, and we will still be reaching out to him from beyond the grave. We love that guy. Cam, Ninja Muffin 99, finally number one on Newgrounds. He reached the top of the throne. Dirt picks in. No matter how many cocks or boobs you draw, it turns out that wholesome Friday Night Funkin' will be on top. And Pico Day winners were finally announced, and we're just waiting for the Friday Night Funkin' Jam winners to be announced as well. So that pretty much cuts it for Newgrounds News. You guys are caught up on literally everything going on. I've not left out a single fact. All I do is go on Newgrounds. Also, Thriftman released, finally, Thriftcast featuring Mick Lauer. So if you want to hear more Rice Pirate, that episode's out. And it was for Thriftman's school project. Yeehaw! Okay, today I have someone very special here. Someone... Who kind of like popped out of the blue on new grounds? They've been doing a lot of games. They've been they've been active in the weirdest way. Like their first game got put in the banner, so they're kind of they're kind of top shit right now. And I would like to introduce you guys to Stepford. Stepford, how you doing? Hey, thank you for having me on. <laughs> Hello, thank you for being here. Thank uh, you for being I'm, here. I'm I'm happy to be here, and I, I knew that you. You tagged me once, like, like ages ago, like a couple weeks ago. You were like Stepford on the podcast, like jokingly, but you know what? And then you did it again jokingly, and, I, <laughs> I, and then I, I was like, okay, well maybe it's not a joke this time. So I like, you know, press forward, and here we here we are. I'm in the voice call. Everyone has to listen to my voice now. That's true. Not, actually. not someone else's, mine. That means that I'm special, right? That means I am better than everyone else that has to listen no, to No, no, all right. <laughs> we got to cut the cut podcast. Actually, I'm going to have you I'm gonna have you stay quiet for a minute. We're going to have our main we're going to have our main guest on today. We have oh, Milk Bar yeah. Jack on. I'm sorry. This is this I know. I know. <laughs> yes, get him on. Get him on. I I love to hear it. A little, uh, to say. a little biography of Stepford, uh, 20 year old Australian male. Wait, no, Australian person. Australian yeah. person. I mean, so. I'm like, I'm like gender fluid. Like, I'm like, you can call me male, you can call me female, you can call me like anything that you really want, and it's it's cool, right? It's like under the umbrella of cool. So don't don't <laughs> don't worry about it, man. It's it's all good. Yeah, go on. the chillest person I've ever met. Aww, <laughs> give us give us a little bio of yourself. Are you just a game maker? Like how do you how do you describe what you do in terms of creativity? Uh, I think yeah, I think I'm pretty much just making games. Like I I don't really when I was going through like high school and shit like that, like I was really bad at like everything ever. And it was like <laughs> super no no, like literally like I was like like constantly just like so demotivated, like oh, I can't do art because art isn't cool unless you're like 
the end product isn't cool unless you know like some cool techniques and you know you stick to it and stuff like that but like making games like not only was that like fun to like put out but it was also fun to learn so making games was kind of like the first thing that i got good at just because like the process of learning was just as fun as getting to the end point so i would say you enjoyed yourself yeah exactly and i suppose that's like that's like how i got like kind of all right at it you know like it's it's just like that repeating process and, yeah you know obviously if you have to repeat something a lot of times you're going to be able to do it more if you're enjoying it as opposed so, to just so like, anything else so when it came to cooking class you're like fuck dude my prosciutto yes, is not no, fucking th- up th- to okay, par okay <laughs> let's I, I, the, literally so i was i was gonna i was doing like a um cafe fair like baking thing and um i like everything that i would like make would taste like absolute dog shit and no way and uh i wanted to do art and everything like i could draw like really cartoony stuff whenever i wanted to draw something that wasn't like a like a joke or whatever just like stupid you know kind of just like like exaggerated body proportions like that kind of stuff i could kind of do but whenever i wanted to draw something that i really like was happy about like it it never like came through so i just like I, I gave up on that. So you like, were in you were in a world of pain until you found game yeah, development. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't say I was in a world of pain, but you know, like going it through high school, painful. it's kind of it's, it's not it's not like when you're going through high school, you don't care. Like you don't think about like, oh, if I don't find something I'm good at before high school, that doesn't even cross your mind. It's like video game, masturbation, uh, <laughs> music, uh, League of Legends. Like that that's that's like the whole roster. Like you don't you know. Nothing else matters, it, yeah. It doesn't get further than that. <laughs> yeah. But I think, aside from that, I'm, I'm currently studying at SAE, um, doing a game design course, like a year and a half in. Um, how's that going, by the way? How is it's going good. to... It's good. Um, I'm, having, I'm having lots of fun, like, being surrounded like like i hated high school like i, I hated high school like high school can, <laughs> it sucked so what, no like-minded like individuals in high school uh, th- or so, what? So, so, no 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 I, I i had i had friends in high school but i just didn't like te- i just didn't like teachers and stuff like that so okay, and not okay. To mention, the, the other students that when they're like you know they can go go fuck off it's a public school so the going to a uni after being in high school and hating high school going to uni is like it's like a completely completely different environment because everyone there is like so motivated to learn everyone's there like like everyone is there because they want to be meanwhile everyone in high school is there because they have to be like it sucks and so being in like a uni it's like like finally it's like some i can feel like motivated to come learn and you know is the, is the networking a real thing? Like, are you enjoying your peers? Like, you guys kind of motivate yes, each yeah. other. One of them you. is here right now. Pluffmont is in the. He's in the. Wait, Pluffmont's <laughs> your fucking peer? He's he we, we, I we, love Pluffmont. We, we went we went to like uh, Molyneux's uh, party, and we went we like followed each other in Newgrounds. Like, I think we like like sent or like followed each other on Twitter or something like that, and then. We were in class just like a week and a half ago, and they were like, "Oh yeah, just like in the same Discord call because we have our online classes right now because we're in lockdown." Yeah, and yeah, we were just it, it was just like funny, just like having that like uh, sort of like realization that oh, you know, like small world, small like it, world. We both <laughs> like new can, grounds. Things can happen outside of new ground, you know. So yeah. like now we're working together on our on our project. So that's pretty cool. That's wild. I like Pluffman a lot. Everyone play Text and Drive. I keep bringing up that game for some reason, but I like yes. his, his go, game go, Text go, and Drive. Go play and go follow them on and everything, and go worship them and go send them money and you, you know go go do everything like that. Pluffman's <laughs> kind kind of cool. So you're allowed to have friends outside of Newgrounds, but as long as they're into Newgrounds, that's how that works. Yeah, exactly. If they're not into Newgrounds, I kind of like. You know, they're just kind of, like, in that point where you don't really want them to, like, be involved with you. So, like, you kind of just, like, worry about everything that they do. So, you know, like, that's how they are if they aren't into Newgrounds. But if they're not into Newgrounds, cut them off. Else. Ask, ask your parents. <laughs> ask your parents right now if they're into Newgrounds. If they're not, then disown exactly. them immediately. Exactly. All right, let's talk about everything that we do know about you, Stepford. Let's talk about Gun Knight, which was the first game I've seen released by you on Newgrounds. And I played it actually before it was in the banner. Mm. 
and mm-hmm. that was March 20th uh, mm-hmm. this year. And if it, if I'm looking at your profile, it looks like you were mainly active March 20th, like in the exactly. or mainly active in March of this yeah. year. So, um, like this is going to be a little bit off topic, but I wanted to um, test HTML, HTML building. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what that is, that's like, that's pretty much just building a game, putting it on a web browser. And um, because I wanted to upload to Newgrounds for like a while, but I made a lot of, I made like executable games that only ran on Windows. And uh, so I wanted to like take one of my my favorite games, one of the best games I've made, which is Gun Knight. And I wanted to put that online. And so it took me about like 40 minutes to just like, run it through the HTML build. Okay, what's working? This thing is flashing or like not working right. And then I'd go fix that, run it again. And then I did that for about like an hour, like 40 minutes. And then after that, I lo- put it onto Newgrounds. Oh, well, I, I suppose I wanted to put it onto Newgrounds. So I went to go make a new account and nothing was happening. Like it, it just kept saying that there was an issue. I think too many people were signing up because this was like halfway through like the Friday Night Funkin' animation jam. So everyone was like, like the website was like chugging. It was like, oh, you know? And yeah. uh, so I couldn't make a new account. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just sign in on my really, really old cringy account. And I knew that I had to like mentally prepare myself for what I was about <laughs> to see on that account. <laughs> <laughs> and I sign in, and it's just as bad. It's it, you know what I was actually pleasantly surprised, but it, it was pretty bad. Uh, well, your account so, your account was made back in 2012, so that was like exactly nine so I was years tw- ago. I was 12. I was 12 years old <laughs> when I earned that account, and going from there and like just looking at my old comments, um, it was very painful. So I, so I was looking for, like, is there a way to, like, mass, like, nuke an account? Is there, like, a way to, like, clean everything up with the account? And uh, apparently, like, on the FAQ, there's literally just a bit that says, my cringy 14-year-old self did a lot of cringe things. Is there a way that I can clean the account? And it's like, how convenient. That's the position I'm in. And it literally just said, message Tom Fulp and tell him. And I did that. Are you that, serious? And that was after I uploaded Gun Knight onto the account onto the account yeah and um it was still going through judgment and like verification and i messaged tom Fulp and i said hey man um i uploaded uh i, I used to use new grounds when i was like 12 but obviously a lot of the stuff is like really cringe like it's, i remember i think like looking back on it i did like i tried like uploading like art that was just like photoshopped pictures of like photos that were just taken <laughs> off google, google images like it was just like like there was like a picture of Grumpy Cat with like the the you know like the pa- like the church panel filter that Photoshop has. It was just like that, but like shoved over and it had been like nuked into oblivion, and like it had like a bunch of really bad comments because I, I apparently I tried promoting it in like the Newgrounds <laughs> chat at the time. <laughs> I, I have no me- fucking memory of any of this, by the way, because I was like twelve, and um, so yeah, and he's like. Yeah, I'll 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 nuke your I'll, I'll clean it all up, and he, that's what he did. So the account got cleaned, and he said, "By the way, cool game." And then I clicked on the game, and then it had the front front page trophy right next to it, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" And then he just said, going he to said, the front "By page, the way, cool game." Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so my game was promoted by Tom Fool, like on the very like same hour that it uploaded, just because I wanted him to remove some cringy old old stuff. Like some some of those comments, like reading back, I, I I said please don't delete the first one I ever made. And if you go into my reviews and go to my art reviews, the first ever art review is just me saying boobies on like a picture of like <laughs> on like this picture of like a girl that has been drawn with like, you know, big fat tits out. So you know, that's yeah, gonna no, be. Yeah, no, I saw forever. that one. I saw that one. I saw you I saw you reacting to some of the old stuff that I like posted. Yeah. I was like, oh no, I know what he's gonna see. He's gonna see the booby. <laughs> it definitely just says fucking booby. <laughs> Brilliant. You gotta keep some part of your young younger self. Exactly. I was like, that's too funny. Just I had like, no idea that was in the wiki. I didn't know in the wiki it was like, hey, yeah, I can delete everything you did when you're a dumb teenager. Like, yeah, oh, okay. exactly. That's perfect. <laughs> and then when it got bannered, when it got put into the banner, and then you yeah. told Tom mm-hmm. Fop, you're like, dude, I don't put that in there. Like, let me <laughs> let me give you a better image to put in okay, the banner. Okay. So that that makes me physically like cringe like reading back on that because like 
he he's like like you know doing a really nice favor for me and i'm up at 5 a.m just like freaking out like oh my god this is it's, it's happening oh my god like it, it's it's on the front page <laughs> But it looks like fucking ass. Like, I'm, like, freaking out. <laughs> but it looks like ass. <laughs> it, it does. It did. It was, like, this, like, weirdly, like, like f- Tom Forbes himself and, like, booted up screen cap and be like, oh, yes. And then, like, just taken, like, a really, like, off-center, half-resolution snipping tool grab in my fucking game. And then just like put it onto the front of Newgrounds. <laughs> like it felt good and bad at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, no, it felt amazing. It was like amazing. But like I was like, oh my god. Like, but you know, he could have reached out and like we could have like done something. Like I could have like made like a unique like animated banner or something like that. Yeah, but, something nice. Like you did with the, with the yeah, font, the way yeah. it tilts it took, and it, it, has it, that took, way. it took me. I just did that in like like five minutes. I just like quickly got to and get it looks so then, much then, better yeah then i gotta go to bed <laughs> then i gotta go to bed he does that a lot he'll just fucking he'll steal something like a screen cap like for hands up for the latest joel g animation yeah. like he took i saw he that he took the thumbnail to that and just threw it in the band yeah, and i just like put it like four times like resolution just stretched it right in the front of everyone's faces whenever they go yeah you know, come <laughs> so- on new grounds <laughs> so it doesn't look the best <laughs> yeah but, but you know it's it, it, i think it's a, it's more like you know, uh, Tom Phillips like doing something nice without like any like sort of investment from the people there, right? It's like yeah, yeah. They can um, you know, he doesn't have to make any promises. He can just kind of like put it up there, and then if he has to take it down in like a week because this big event is happening, there's no like, you know, there's That's- no like upset. <laughs> why, why did this person get it up there for one month? But it's like you know, he's doing it out of just like. Like, like you know, like whipping his dick. Yeah, out. being just, genuine. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Being very genuine. But I will say, anytime I hit him up for an event, like I make sure, hey, this date is when I'm wondering if we can put it in the banner. Like I, I talk to him about it, and he'd be like, "Yeah, that sounds great." So if anyone, okay. like Joel G, if you're listening to this right now, just uh, next time you just, go to just, release just the know animation, that you aren't as important as what you know, like Xenix's plans. Just know that you're like, <laughs> no, that my art him. event will trump your animation. <laughs> Do not release yeah, them you, on the you, same date. You, you will get you know bodied. <laughs> you, you know this uh thing like animation you've spent like weeks or like months working on yeah well it's kind of not as like a big of a deal as me just like you know it's like news posts that i'm gonna make so yeah you know step step down honey get down yeah, sweetie yeah you think you're cool that's why you just get a screen cap in the banner no honestly if, if people were to coordinate more with tom like with the release dates like obviously like joel g's anything coming from him is gonna get put in the banner like with yeah. ha- happy harry's uh, Doctor B's returns that got thrown in yeah. the banner. Like, you know, it, yeah. looked, it looked pretty nice up there. Like just, just it's planning big, something it's a, with it's Tom like would the, help. Uh, big return, right? They gotta like, you know, whenever there's like a big new release, they need to like promote it as much as they can. Yeah, because there's no way Tom's gonna say no to anything animation related. Yeah, in, in the banner. I mean, that's what the that's what the website was for. So hold on. So Gun Knight had to be imported to HTML to come over to new grounds. And was that released anywhere else before Newgrounds? Like how no, long? No, no. So, so it was uploaded to Newgrounds, and then it was uploaded to Itch and Game Jolt. Because you know, I'd like spend like the last two hours just trying to purge my account, and you know, so I was like, I gotta get on Newgrounds because that's where like all my attention is right now. And um, yeah, I mean, that forty minutes that I spent porting it to HTML5 has been like the most like sort of like time spent, network gain, like you know sort of like transaction in like my whole like game dev career because like like before this like you know all of my games on get on like itch.io they get like i think one of them had like 5k views i got promoted game jolt i mean um game jolt actually promoted gun knight when it first was released and that was like two christmases ago because that was like the very first release of the game and game jolt they put it up and that got me like twin like 15k views and that was like the biggest deal ever it was like oh my god oh my god gun knight is on the front page of game job that's insane like and that was like super exciting but now like got promoted by Newgrounds, you know that, and that shit's got like eighty thousand. <laughs> which like is wild weeks. yeah which i know is it's, wild. it was it was absolutely insane like just how like much Newgrounds, how, how like receptive how much, the community yeah. is to a and, good game 
I, no, I've well, seen the I, fan I would art say too. That. I would I see s- that, but <laughs> well, I've seen I, the I, fan I, art that people came out with it. You put it in the description, like it's very yeah, humbling I, too. I gotta, I, like I gotta. It. If someone draws fan art, I gotta, you know, you gotta put it in the description. Like I, like obviously, if I'm, you know, if I'm getting like all this attention, people that are making things for me, they need just as much. Like, yeah, you know, you know, it's not you like know it, what's it, what's funny about the views is that like a lot of people don't post as consistently to Newgrounds because you don't get as many views as anywhere else. But you are the exact contradictive no, to that um, statement. Exactly, exactly. So, so here's my theory. Here's my here's my like, you know, like oh, charging all the brain cells right now, big brain. <laughs> okay, so here's my theory because it's game because it's game dev stuff. It's like, like the front page, like the featured, that is like really profitable right? like in terms of like compared to the other front pages like music and art and movies like that 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 like on a daily basis that stuff is getting shuffled out like there's so much content there's so much good shit being uploaded to Newgrounds but meanwhile with the games there's not no, not as many people are making use of that so that means like someone like me who just happened to come in at the right time you know, I'm, I'm like getting sort of like reaping like the first benefits of like, you know, the, all of the game devs coming back to Newgrounds, like because of Ninja Muffin, right? Every, everyone's on there because, you know, Ninja Muffin, like uh, Friday Night Funkin' has proven that online web games can reach a mass market. Online web games, Newgrounds can reach a mass market. So all of the, you know, people are creators are coming back to Newgrounds. And I think game devs are just like moving on really slowly. Like, like I'm seeing, like it's speeding up. Like the games, the get featured game section. When I first got Gun Knight featured, Gun Knight was like sitting on like the front page for like a, like a, a while. Like all of the games are on there a while. But I'm seeing stuff in the game featured game tabs that's shuffling out on like a two day, three day basis, and that's that's like way faster than it used to be. So I think that, that people could are be, coming back to Newgrounds. That could be a large mm-hmm. part because of Pico Day, because everyone that released games exactly. Pico Day yeah, as well. Exactly. Pico Day would also be it, right? It's like suddenly there's like this huge competition that everyone of every medium can contribute to. Yeah. And that is just like, it's like a beacon, right? It's like everyone wants to get in on that. Regardless it's like a of bacon. Whether or not they, <laughs> it's yeah, like it, a bacon. <laughs> not a bacon, a beacon. Well, you know what? Oh, a bacon, beacon. beacon. I thought you were talking about bacon. Like that, <laughs> I mean, that everyone new comes around for bacon. bacon. <laughs> everyone comes around. So same thing, right? And it's like... Yeah, like yeah, I don't, yeah. Well, what's what's, how, go, what's gonna be interesting? Any better than that, right? It's like what's, gonna be like. Hmm? What's gonna be interesting is like where Newground settles at because before Friday Night Funkin', I was looking at the art, I was looking at the games, I was looking at the animations. Games actually got the most views, but it would top out at like twenty five hundred views. You know, what I mean, art mm. gets like a thousand if you're on the front page, and then music uh, about a thousand. You know, what I mean, mm. thousand to fifteen hundred, and then. Or Can, animations. I'm just gonna stop you right there, Zenix. I'm just gonna stop you right there. What? Teravex is in the Teravex is in the audience right now, so I'm just gonna shout this out real quick. Yeah. The the the, the audio section, the front page, that's bullshit. All right. I'm gonna say it right now. It's bullshit. It's a lie. It's a scandal. Okay. If you look at all of the other featured like pages, there's like forty or like thirty or like so, some shit like that, right? I, I'm I'm too dumb to count. So, but then you go down to the music, and it's like eight. It's like eight, but it takes up just as much space, and I think that's a crime. That's a criminal. That's so that's you're cr- saying a crime you should, you're right saying there. Tim Tom should find a way to to yeah utilize an interface that shows the music a lot better. Like maybe yeah, a bigger exactly. like so, a, so, a playlist so, box that you just click yeah, on and play it. I'm, well, I'm thinking like a like a record rack, like you know, like you're having like all of like the you know all the tracks up along like like a shelf, right? And that way you could like, and when you mouse over them, like this might be a little bit too, too much, but like you mouse over and that kind of like makes them bigger and shows like the cover yeah. and shows like the people that made them and the genre. So you just have to like mouse over them to like see that. But Basically just, making you know, people focus on that attention towards that exactly. area. I just, I just think it's so stupid that like all of the other like featured elements have like all of their like pictures, their alluring like images. I mean, meanwhile, the audio has the title and like the cover art as like a tiny 50 by 50 pixel little <laughs> like no like that's stupid that's a waste of space and it takes up more space than all the other featured panels and yet it's got less content that's crazy come on tom come on tom get your shit together man uh, i had to find <laughs> out you can autoplay just by clicking on the disc icons like at no point could i have found that out on my own like i had, I had people telling me how to autoplay 
Like you don't yeah, have just, to click uh, the song, go into the page. You can click on the disc and yeah. play right then and there. Yeah, that's you know, and you know what make it more appealing if they like they made like the disc spin because whenever whenever oh, I see a spinning, oh! whenever I see whenever I see spinning disc on music, that is like neurons. Like my brain goes up like a Christmas tree. It's like yeah. you know, like neuron activated. <laughs> That'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. All right, we're going to move on, though. All right, Gun Knight, Gun yeah. Knight. By Stepford, mm-hmm. in parentheses. That's how I knew Stepford ever since then. Because when you started up Gun Knight and said Stepford right there, I'm like, okay. I know this guy now. It, so, so it's called Gun Knight by Stepford. And I, you already know this, but I'm telling I'm telling everyone who's listening right now, I'm telling I'm telling it to the whole masses. I'm telling it to the, the, the hundreds of millions of people that are going to hear this. Um, Gun Knight by Stepford was called that because there's already a game on Newgrounds called Gun Knight. And I'm pretty sure I actually played it when I was a wee, wee laddie, when I was a much smaller man, okay? it's It's gotten like 90,000 views, and for like an upload back in like 2006, 90,000 is like a lot back then, right? So the fact that my game has been uploaded like recently and it's got 70,000 views, that's like, you know, it's like, it's a bit like a punch like to the stomach, or it's like the fact that like, my stuff is getting just as much like sort of attention as the stuff back then. The stuff that I used to play when I was a very small person. So yeah, back when the internet was still the wild west and everyone spent their mm. time playing flash games. Yeah. So, Nowadays, well, time is time is harder to come by, and a lot of people migrated elsewhere. But to to yeah. get a browser game to get seventy thousand views. Whew. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's doing so pretty we, fucking good. So, what were you going to say about my amazing, awesome video game that I uploaded yeah. called Gun Knight by Step? What were you going to say about that one? Again? Uh, I was going to say we should move on. on from that and we should go do <laughs> Madness Off Color. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. First of all, with, with Gun Knight, who did you collaborate with for the art? Those were just like sprites that were made. Those, by those, I people? did not collaborate with anyone. I was I was when I made Gun Knight, I was living in the middle of Bendigo in like a forty degree shack with <laughs> okay. with my mate with my mate Ty, who's in the call right now. You can see he's, he's in there right now. And I was living with him, and I I was going to my first classes, and I was like on the on the train to uni on the train back i had like no like you know nothing i could like play so i just like i just like be on my phone and i'd write down ideas for games and like mechanics that i wanted to do and i wanted to make a game that was kind of like enter the gungeon but sort of like casual like where it's like you you go in and you die like every like it's like a two minute thing and so like i told him i said hey, i want to make this game that's like you know like what i just said and he's like go on then you want it? go on <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> you had you know me, what? and and then I went on, and then I made it, and it was like all of the art came from just like itch.io, like like you go on itch.io, and then assets, and then they just like there's people that like upload like all this like pixel art and stuff like that that you can just like kind of steal, and like you know you you credit them, but you know you're stealing, right? It's like you're you're like getting like all these views and stuff like that from you know there's people that have like made these amazing art packs and there's hundreds of thousand people that are just using it and putting in their own games um yeah but so gun knight gun knight took off sorry i'll just but gun knight took off and when it did i like made sure to reach out to all those people and i was like hey i just want to say like thank you so much like you know for making did this you kind really of art. did yeah. you really reach out yeah. to them that's yeah, so wholesome. Like, there's one of them, like O Lobster, like he's the one that did like the Gun Knight actual character. Like he did like the sprites with like, you know, that pack. And I reached out and I, I sent him like all the fan art. It's like this is what this is your character. It's not mine. This is this is yours. Like this, they're all making this because of something that you drew. So, you know, I made sure to do that. That's and brilliant. that was like super important to me. Anyone who's ballsy enough to to make something great and just put it out there for the community to use, like open handedly, like oh just use this, mm-hmm. just credit me. Mm-hmm. Like especially a lot yep. of music I find on Newgrounds that's really fucking good. Terravex has this song that has like twenty five thousand views. It's a great song and he left it up to like, oh just credit me as an as yep. a as the person that made it. You can use it for whatever. It's called mm-hmm. Lucid, by the way, if anyone wants to look that up. It's fucking sick. So people that, that just give away like that yep. and th- normally you you don't get someone to come back and say, Hey man, like thank you for letting me use this it turned yeah. out great you know yeah exactly so that's nice and I, I just wanted to you know because like i reckon if i made something and then someone else got like really popular off it the least I, I i i'd least expect them to just like be like hey you know like you know for us to like talk at least once so i, I yeah. figured that you know like 
not not so much that they owe it to me, but more so like I want there to be sort of like a you know like a mutual like friendship kind of thing where it's like we appreciate you know what we did right rather than like you know any sort of like you owe me or instead 12, of like, you owe me twelve doggy coins or you know otherwise yeah. I'm going to take down your work you know that kind of shit. <laughs> Or, or you just use their work and you're like, ha ha, fuckers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got rich off this shit, idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My God. All right, let's move on, though. Good night. Hefty ass game. Didn't know there was so much lore to that. Let's go Madness Off Color, which is where you finally did collaborate with some people. Exactly, Ooh. yeah. So, so Madness Off Color was, uh, it was kind of just like me wanting, like, I, I played Madness Interactive when I was, you know, when yeah, I was growing we up, I, 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 I was, I, I love that shit. Like, I didn't like. I, I used to watch new, like Madness and stuff like that when I was growing up. But I, you know, I was too dumb to understand it. It was just like people, like, you know, you see guns and shooting and gore, and you're like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, and that was kind of like my extent of it. And I, I, I wanted to make Madness interactive again, but like better. Like, because, you know, obviously I have, like, the conveniences of, you know, like, making, knowing smoother, like, game development, knowing game design, that kind of stuff. So, I feel yeah. like I could make something that would be worth people's time. And as I got into it, it was like, okay, well, Madness is a lot bigger of a deal than I remember it being, <laughs> that's for sure. And, like, you know, the, just like pitching like a Madness game, I got a lot of people that were like, you know, wanting to jump on the project. They wanted to, um, they now, wanted to help out. And where did you they, pitch this initially? So, so this was, I, I started off, I made like this little, like, you know, like a grunt walking left to right and punching. And then I went onto Newgrounds and I made a Newgrounds collaborate post. Cause I didn't know like there was like Newgrounds, like podcast discord. I didn't know any of that. And I made the uh, a collaborate announcement just saying, hey, I'm working on, I'm going to be making a Madness game. Does anyone want to come help? And I got a lot of people reaching out. And that's where I met Fra Fran Boat, um, who was the artist on uh, Madness of Color. And um, they had a very unique style. And it like, like working with someone who's like so artistically talented but they can also like bring their own sort of like spin to it it was like really ex exciting to just like you know push out like content and daily updates for this game and you know that that's also something that i'm really passionate about like on twitter like i'm always like uploading like like v screenshots and videos of the stuff i'm working on because i don't think like keeping people in the dark is like that good. like obviously i didn't want to like spoil the last boss fight and i didn't want to like you know but I felt like that sort of like iterative, like pro, like s telling your audience, this is what I did today. It's sort of like, you know, it reminds them, it, it like puts like a message directly in their brains that this is how long it took to make this mechanic. So maybe yeah. one day I can try and make my own game. Maybe one day I can. It's it's kind of like you're, sh you're sharing the fun too of making yeah, exactly. a game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's like, and it's, it seems like like you have a little, you had a little bit more fun collaborating too, because you got to see Fran Boot come out yeah. with the, yeah. the art like in yeah. real time. Exactly, and Fran Boot had like a really, really quick turnaround time. Like, I've worked with like other artists, and like it's like, oh, you have to like wait like a whole week to get like it's like sprite sheet, but like Fran Boot would be like on the hour, just like making like this whole new piece, whole new this. I draw an asset, make it like like if you, I could like post some screenshots or something, but. If if I were to post some like the earlier like videos of the game, there's like a lot of like filler art where I draw it in like, um, I draw it in like the game maker tool like like it looks like crap. It looks like absolute ass, and I spend like one second on it because I know <laughs> that I just gotta save it, send it through the frame route, put it in the Discord, go back, work on the game, check it like twenty minutes later. And the art asset is already done and looking amazing, and then I pop that <laughs> right in the game, and then that's like. You know, that's like that positive feedback loop was like so good. So is it safe to say you and Fran Boot will be working together a lot more in the future? I'm fairly certain he's the artist on the, your Pecan Joe fishing game yeah, as well. Yeah, so he's also doing the art there, but um, I'm not going to like say that like we're going to be working together like from now on every single project. Like, <laughs> new but it, like I definitely enjoyed and I'm definitely enjoying working with him because, you know, they're so talented and they're, they're, they're a fun individual and 
but like I don't want to like tie anyone down to anything because like, you know, especially when it comes to Gun Night Two, which is something I'm I'm working on. I don't want to be like, hey, I'm going to be working on this thing for a year and then tying people to it and then telling people that, you know, maybe this might not be a thing. Maybe this, maybe I have to change this. And I don't really want to have to put someone like him under it because, you know, he's, he's like, you know, he's, he's still going to school and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's just, I don't want to like steal someone like that, you know, yeah, <laughs> no, you no, want, unless, yeah. unless I'm going to be paying them. Right. <laughs> Right. That's okay. And I'm the only one who loses when that's the case. Like you want to remain flexible. You want him to be able to keep his schedule open. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let let the it's, cards it's more right now. Also, it's lie. just us being like you know wanting to work together co- creatively and pump stuff out. Like that's that's literally it. But you know. So there were there were two good things that came from Man of Soft Color. Like two big rewards that came off of that. First of all, you got first place in Pico Day 2021, mm-hmm. which uh-huh. is five hundred eighty dollars. <laughs> And yep. and and an interview, which I don't think ever happened with the interviewer. I, I I've added, I've sent him a friend request, and he doesn't receive messages from people that aren't friends. And I don't know if he's accepted the friend request, but big sad. I mean, I, at the same time, like I'm not like I'm not upset that like it's not happening, but and I don't know if it will happen. But it, you know, just being on this podcast is like is exciting itself, right? Like it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it, I'm 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 like it's way more fun. It's way more fun talking to like. You know, you and a whole audience, then it is talking to like one specific person, you know, over text. And like, yeah. if, if it does happen, then that'll be fucking awesome. But I'm I not going to like that. hold it. I'm not going to hold it to the guy to like reach out to me and do this game, you know, interview right, thing right. with someone he hasn't even like spoken to before. Me, I think, you know, you and I have like interacted like a couple of times in the past. So. A few times. And now you're on the podcast. That's all it takes. You say hello to me twice. You're on the fucking podcast. That's how yeah, exactly. <laughs> If um, you have, if you haven't been on the podcast, you just haven't said hello enough. That's it. Like, yeah, that's all. That's all. Um, <laughs> so first place was that a shock to you? Did you freak yes. out? Like, how did that yes. feel? How does first place but, feel? We, we were spamming the letter A in the Discord. Like, we were like going crazy. Um, <laughs> so, so when when it was like first dropped, I did not believe it. I was like. Um, you like really my game? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no, because the other games that were posted were like so like they were really good too. Like they were like amazing, like amazing games. Like I was like blown away with like. Um, yeah, you had like Pico the, Night Pumpkin. Yeah, that ga- that game specifically, that got such like that that was like so popular. Like that was so ridiculously popular that like I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be besting this because everyone loves Funkin. And this person just like made a brand new like little Funkin that's got like this cool 8 bit style. Like this is so cool. And there's no way that my like original game, like with like, you know, sort of like this weird art style that's like not like madness, like there's no way that it's gonna stand up to it. And then there was also like um, you know, uh, Milk Bar Jacks, Pico uh, Clicker, Pico Clicker, yeah, and it's like that was such a cr- cr- like collaborative effort. Everyone, there were so many people that put work into that, and it was I can't imagine like being that person. Like, like I'm picturing like I'm closing my eyes and like picturing the project now, and like having like a separate sprite for every single artist that ever submitted to the project, and that just like. Ooh, 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 like cowering in fear just the idea of <laughs> like having to sort through all that and like you know be like the head of that huge um you know yeah. project and i was like there's no way that like my game with like you know us like four people like are gonna like be able to like beat that project with like over like a hundred or like 300 people and you know and like it, we, the announcement came out and it was at the top and it was like what like it was like so crazy <laughs> like we were we were like losing it it was like I, I was like so happy i couldn't go to sleep it was like f- like again it was like 5 a.m <laughs> because like all the time like like being in australia like everything's like topsy-turvy in terms of time zones so whenever i release something whenever something comes out it's always at like some ridiculous time in the morning so honestly um, it's wild to see how much you're being appraised on new grounds like oh good yes, night it is. oh my first it's game on new cra- grounds in the banner it's fucking crazy yes it is oh wild. madness off color fucking crinkles plays it like how did yes, that feel that was, how that did was crinkles so crazy the man I, playing it feel i was watching that video like that stream highlight like over and over like all day <laughs> with like the biggest smile on my face like it was like like 
injecting like a drug straight into my brain. Like it was crazy. <laughs> like it was like instant happiness. Like just what like into in sort of like a video form. So like I could like I could like put it in any flash drive, you know, wear it around my neck. So just like it was like transportable happiness. So that's how that felt. Now, now I'm not trying to push anything, but what what does your experience in game dev feel now having been on Newgrounds and having the reception you've gotten? Like, how does that make you feel as a game developer prior to when you were just on Game Jolt or when you were just on Itch? What does Um, that feel like? Does it feel like uh, you're more part of a community now rather than on your own? Yes, exactly. So, like... I would say that like itch.io is like very, I wouldn't say it's corporate because it's obviously not corporate, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like everyone's setting up like a business front. Like it's like everyone's got their like table and their like banner and like poster and like everyone's sitting down behind the table and they're trying to present themselves in order to like invite people over. Meanwhile, Newgrounds is kind of just like this like festival where everyone's kind of like throwing their shit at each other. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a free for all in terms of content and like people are like drawing fan out of my work, people, you know, like doing all this kinds of stuff. And it feels like really exciting to be able to like go to that person's profile and be like, Hey, awesome work. Give them five stars, follow them. <laughs> and like that, that, that kind of shit just doesn't happen on HIO. It feels like HIO is like you're, you're, you aren't like really advertising to other creators you're just advertising to people that just so happen to be looking to play video games it's like i'm having like people that make really cool art that are way way better than me people that make way better games people that make way better music people that make things that are better than i can ever dream of that have less followers following me and then commenting how much they love what I make. And that is like, that is wild. And like, obviously I got to chuck them a follow back and be like, yo, it's awesome work. <laughs> you know? And that yeah. feels so fucking cool. Well, I noticed out of reviews, you give the most on art. Like you're at like 90 plus art reviews compared to okay. everything else. Okay. So there's like two reasons for that. Big booby bitches being one of them. <laughs> and the second one being that the art, like featured art panel is like, it's so easy to just go doot you know like click on them and do it and because you know there's so much cool shit constantly coming in and out of the cycle yeah. um and yeah so that that's like the that's like the main reason why it's that also i, I feel like i feel like movies are like the ones that i don't really like even though they're like animations they're obviously like the most amount of effort but like i feel like as like a game dev on newgrounds i gotta play the games a lot and like I gotta give like everyone like if anyone gets like front page I gotta be like yo this is fucking awesome because you know I just feel like like if they're starting out if they're like it's it's their first upload on Newgrounds I want them to feel the same way that I did I want them to be like you're sharing that this love person, this first person. exactly that's exactly how it is like I, I I just want everyone to you know I want everyone ex- to get like a good first impression and just have like a great time and be you know because like i want to spread that positivity right i want to share the win keep winning kings exactly (laughs) exactly keep winning you go you go girl uh pecan joe fishing game june 6th is that still coming out two days from now or what yes yes Yes, it is two days you can fish like pecan joe would i hope there's a lot of (laughs) cock jokes i hope he says a lot about there's there's not a lot of cock jokes it's it's very I i will say i will say that i made the game very like it's pretty much just like approachable from anyone who doesn't really know like Picander. It's very like, aside from like the last stage, like it's very just kind of like, just kind of like references to a lot of Newgrounds material. It's more like I just wanted to make like an idle game and the Picando day was coming up and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's, let's make a project together and let's make something fun. And, and relaxing, you know, something exactly, just chill. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I, like, I wouldn't say that, like, this this project definitely is nowhere near as, like, big as Madness of Color. Madness of Color, I, like, I, like, put in, like, so many, like, hours into that. Like, staying up until, like, 6 a.m., like, coding, coding, coding. Oh, like, this thing isn't working. This thing doesn't feel right. Iterating, iterating. Like, being going back and forth on, like, certain elements. Like, the, I'll be, the, like there was a certain point in, like, Madness of Color where it was, like, this game kind of sucks and i don't know what to do <laughs> and it was like really scary like we i'm sorry we, n- you're sorry i mean yeah. we, we, the game came out so like it was like like we we had gotten the tricky boss fight done and we had four guns in the game and it was like like nothing was feeling right it was um 
like uh it, it was just feeling really weird like it like nothing was coming together and yeah. i was like what do we do and we got um eliza on and like eliza was like the second artist and we're like we need more guns because like the feedback <laughs> of the game like like i feel like i was like why is manis interactive why was manis interactive fun i was like because of all the guns like i'll be honest manis interactive kind of played like shit because it's you know it's old and crappy and runs on flash but the reason why i found it fun as like a wee wee boy was that because there were so many different weapons there was so many different like things you could switch between so I was like, we need as many fucking guns in this game as we can get. So that way, even if the gameplay isn't like amazing, you know, there's sort of like that like boost of like, oh, this gun, this gun, M60, sniper rifle, you know, just getting like bigger and bigger. And th- like yeah. that, I feel like that made the game like really fun just playing with all the weapons. And that's why I like, we kept like. I mm-hmm. like all the mechanics you did with it too. The the blocking mechanic works very, yeah. very fresh. That, that and didn't cleanly. come until, that didn't come in till, for ages. Like after the tricky, like that was before we had that point of like, this game isn't good. So the game, like there was like halfway through development, we, the game was like, God, this isn't going to work out. But then like as <laughs> going towards the end, it's like, this game's going to work out. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> that anxiety from all that. I also like how when you throw a knife into someone, they pull it out of themselves and they, they yeah, start yeah. attacking you with it. Like, that's sweet. Yeah. That was kind of like, um, that was kind of like non-intentional. It was like, I need the people to pick up gun- like weapons off the floor, but it just so happens that like, you know, the thrown object is still like the same default weapon object. So they just can just look, move their hand towards it and pick it up just like it was on the floor. So that was like, you know, I felt like that was like a lot of like, whoa, like surprising moment that like everyone would have like playing the game is like suddenly like the enemy doing something you wouldn't expect. And I feel like those kinds of moments in games are like really inf- unforgettable. So it, feel, I def- I it left felt that good. It felt yeah. really damn good. Um, <laughs> Peek on Joe Fishing Game, Terror Vex is the musician, and then Gun Machine, the sequel to Gun Knight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're taking a break from that because of Madness Off Color. Because so, of- so, so I took a break from Gun Machine because I was like, um, I just wasn't like feeling like how, like the very, like we, we like I made like the very start of the game. I made like all the elements and I just wasn't feeling like it was like as like I don't feel I did, I felt like I was just making like an update for Gunner it didn't feel like enough and then my discord got hacked and I lost all contact to all of my friends and I had my friends got sent viruses from my account and it sent out all this kind of horrible shit and I I I felt like horrible during that time cuz I had just like taken off on new grounds and everything was going so well and then this happens. It's like, it felt like, you know, like, why, like, why, why now? Like, why, why couldn't you have done this for back, you know, when I was like, you know, like, hun- like, 100 followers on Twitter. Like, why couldn't I, why couldn't you have done this, like, back then? But it's like now when I'm, you know, taking off. And like that, I felt so fucking awful during that time. I didn't eat anything for like four days. Like, I didn't eat anything. I, I like, I smelt food like a couple times and I wanted I, I like felt like vomit building up I just couldn't eat anything because I was just I, I don't know like I've never like been to this in this position before and I felt like so I, I just thought it was like being sick from stress like that's what I chalked it up to and it yeah. was like like I was like you know I didn't have contact to any of my friends and all like like it like I was in like my school's discord and stuff like that on that very same account so it was like who knows what they could do like you know, go into my school Discord and, like, say, like, all kinds of dumb shit. And, like, I was, like, worrying about all kinds of stuff like that. And um, so I just couldn't work on the game. I just couldn't. I was, like, not... I just wanted to, like, you know, watch TV shows, watch YouTube, and just keep... Like, the, I just wanted the days to progress until Discord would give me my account back. But, you know, obviously, things are better now. Like, I'm having, like, a great time, like... And I've got my... I had got my old Discord account back, and I... You know, I, I like met up with like I say there's like ninety nine percent of people that like I've I ca- talked to I've like reached out and I've told them that I was hacked and everyone's cool with it. There's like a one percent that I've just missing in action and I can't get a hand on them and I fear the worst. But like, I feel like this is like one of those things where it's like years like years will go by and the life will continue on. You know, like the, like you kind of just gotta hope that things will keep like things no matter what you do life's gonna keep going on so i just gotta focus on this thing ahead i still got all my 
you know, I got my following on Newgrounds, my newfound, you know, all my new best friends. <laughs> and, uh, you, know, all, you know, I've still got my Twitter. I've still got all of my game dev stuff. And, you know, so I, that's what I was like, you know, that's what kept me saying. I was like, you yeah. know, I'm still, I'm still getting all these comments from like people that are like playing Madness of Color being like this is the best game on Newgrounds. I've loved this game and that would be like <laughs> yes, I can still I can this is still going to, you know, the, my life isn't crumbling down. This is this is still going to be a thing, right? You know? Yeah. It, yeah, absolutely. You so always I'll have that to fall back on. Number 1, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I I'll, I'll still be work I'm still going to make gun like gun night 2, but I just wanted to like work on school projects, work on stuff for new grounds and then i'll jump back on it when you know when i'm feeling better and i've been learning how to use game maker 2 um so because i use game maker 1.4 so you know i feel like learning game maker 2 it's going to be like a big enough step for me to be like happy with all the new systems there's like all these new animation stuff i can use and yeah, yeah. just excited for the future exactly exactly that's what it is Hell yeah! All right, we're we're coming to the end of the show. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a shout out to the Grand Super Patrons, which is our mm-hmm. ten dollar tier. I'm gonna shout them out real fast. Um, okay. All right, thank you, Pluffmot or Benny. Thank you, thank you to Commander Ken. Thank you to who am I looking at? Kevin Polo. Thank you guys for being our Grand Super Patrons. Now to close out the show. Let's talk about like your early gaming days and like what inspired you to make games cuz you have you have a lot of games that aren't on Newgrounds like Bullet, Plunder, Parachute, Devastation Nation, Not Dead Yet, Rogue Road, Bump in the Night, Musculus, which yeah. everyone can find on his uh Game Joel or or it's or, is, or is I, I recommend it's cuz Game Joel, let's be real Game Joel is Game Joel is like abandoned where it's like <laughs> it's like that that shit is so old and like like the the creators on there, they don't they don't give they don't care, right? Yeah, they don't they don't care. It's like if you go on Game Jolt, all of, it's pretty much just people re-uploading Five Nights at Freddy's with like texture changes, and they just <laughs> let that shit run rampant. They steal each other's content, and it, it is it is like a big like cesspool of horrible horror. I'm I'm sorry if Game Jolt Mr. CEO listens to this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just have to say it. I don't. I hate you and I hate your website. But thank, <laughs> thank, thank you for shouting out Gun, Gun Night when it first came out. But I hate you, and I don't. I don't want. I. I just. I, it's sad, right? It's sad because they just let like all of this, like you know, this like a good website just like be ran by like kids and like you know. Yeah, it, a lot of plagiarism. It, exactly. Like, plagiarism is, like, the main issue with the website. It's just, like, people stealing shit. So, go go on itch.io. I've got, like, more... I think I've got, like, more uploaded builds. I think I've got all the games on Game Joel, but you don't want to play those as a really bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in terms of, like, what uh, sort of, like, made me want to make those games, I was, like, learning, like, how to use Game Maker in, like, ICT class in high school. And... I was like getting kind of good at it. Like I was like, I was like using Game Maker outside of class, not just for the classes. I was like having like a good time. And I was at my mate's Ty's place. And, you know, like he's like the same person that I lived with, you know, talked about living with the other time. And we were like chilling there. And I was like, he, I, I remember like saying, like, oh, I, I think I'm getting pretty good at this. And he was like, go on then, make a game. And I was like, okay, I will. And then I, I was like, I made a game in like, like two days and that was like bullet and that, i think that was like the first game that I ever released and like fully made and like that fully like actually getting to release a game i didn't know what itch.io is i didn't know what game job was i just made a game and then i was like now how do i release this and like bullet was like the first one right yeah that was like that was like your beginning, like it's yeah. that's, that's base level. I'm gonna make a game where you jump over bullets that randomly exactly. shoot out of cannons so, so, to get faster. So I, I'm just gonna say this right now: if you're ever trying to make something creative, if you're ever trying to like make anything, but you're like and you're learning, you just have to make things smaller. Okay, if you if you're like oh 
I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting good at art, but I'm not too sure if I can. I think I'm getting good at making music, but I don't know if I'll upload it. I'll upload it when I'm good. When I'm good, y- you're never gonna be good. You're never gonna be good like that. Okay, <laughs> so listen to me right now. What you got to do is you got to make stuff you don't care about. You got to be like, oh, I'll just make a game in like 12 hours. And then you upload it, okay? And that gets you to pump out content. That gets you to like make things. If you uh, if you make stuff that you pretend you don't care about initially, you're going to care about it by the time you're done. And then you'll be like, okay, well, I just need to finish this now. I just need to put in effort and finish this. You got to try and make stuff as quickly as you can eat because... Obviously, if you go into it like with like big ambitions, being like, "Oh, I'm gonna make this game for like six months. It's gonna be an RPG. It's got like full world. It's got all these stats." You're never gonna do it. I'm sorry. You're never going to make that game. Not yet, anyway. What you are gonna make is Bullet, a game where you jump over <laughs> bullets that throw at you while crappy eight-bit sound effects play and they bleed your ears. That's what you're gonna make, and people <laughs> are gonna play it, and it's gonna feel good when people play it, and then that will be enough for you to make bullet again but like with more content and that will be you know going forward and forward and forward your tolerance for making and putting out stuff will only get bigger and bigger exponentially as long as you are making stuff like anything so don't wait until you're good enough because you're never going to be good enough until you suck until you publicly suck at it there you go best advice that we had on the show just push it out there <laughs> yeah there you go it's what it, it don't comes care, down don't to. care about what you make. That, that's literally it. Just make, like, challenge yourself. Make something so simple that you're like, I can make that. Of course I can make that. If I told Zeravex and I said, make a song that, it, make make a drum track and do it in five minutes. And he'd be like, I could do that. And then suddenly he might have a really good drum ta- track. And it's like, yeah. you wouldn't have done that unless he, you know, undershot. Because if you undershoot, you're always... It feels like if you undershoot towards the end of whatever project, you're going to be able to put your heart and soul into it because that's when Hell it's easiest. Yeah. It's always easy to finish it. It's never it, like, okay, well, then again, sometimes it's hard to finish stuff, but if it's a small thing, it's always easy to finish it. It's always hard to get through that middle period where the project just sucks because every single time you make something, every single time you draw something, every single time you make music, there's like this middle period where it's just you doing the same thing over and over and it fucking sucks and it's boring and I hate it. But the, the the shortest that period of time is is your how more likely you are to finish the game. How because like the longest like the the start and the end are the funnest parts. But the start is fu- the middle is fucking boring. So get through that middle part and you should be right. Make the middle part five minutes of your day, and then make the start and the end like a couple hours, and then you will make some good content. You will pump that shit out there. You pump that shit out there, just like your high school days, jerking off and playing video <laughs> yeah, games in League exactly, of Legends. Exactly, yeah, exactly. You will pump that shit. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw. Stepford, thank you for being on the podcast. I thank expect so great things from you. No pressure. You're just kind of iconic at this point. You know, you've been Aww. on the podcast. You got to do a lot now. So, Aww, that <laughs> I feel, so sweet. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I feel really bad for you because the spotlight, yeah. spotlight's on you. You can't have a flop of a game ever. You're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's, it's a bit wild, you know, like like everything I'm putting out is like getting so much attention and it, like it feels, it's like so exciting to just jump into the new project because everyone is, you know, everyone is, um, excited to jump on it and it feels like I can kind of reach out to anyone and be like hey do you want to make something and that in itself is really like inspiring hell yeah everyone look forward to the day Gun Machine is released that'll be mm-hmm. his first Steam game more than yeah. likely and mm-hmm. then Pecan Joe Fishing Day on June 9th which is 6-9 if you guys didn't understand that joke yet two days from now <laughs> you can fish like Pecan Joe would everybody round yeah. of applause for Step for it thank you yeah round of applause for, Woo! for me Woo! Yay! every single artist that listens to this send send Stepford a, a DM <laughs> send him something and tell uh-huh. him you want to collaborate with him force him to make uh, your game for you you yeah. have ideas idea people get on it here we go I'm make something f- make something today uh, if you, <laughs> uh, here's my challenge for you tomorrow tomorrow is is a big challenge uh, D- Newgrounds podcast challenge you have one day to make something but uh, starting from tomorrow morning and ending tomorrow night whenever you listen to this you have one day to make something and then tweet that shit at me send it to me one day one day step for one day challenge okay 
Can, do, go <laughs> do it. Get on it. Now. Go, go, Step go. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> morning. Tomorrow night. You got it. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Step for one day challenge. You either take it or you square. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Let's do super patrons. Thank you guys to our super patrons. $5 tier. Thank you, Zachary Jones, Boo- Boozel, Carissa Inabet. Thank you, Spectra Lee. Thank you, Bacon. Thank you, Danielson. Thank you, great 18 vids, 14 kids. Thank you, kid. Thank you, everyone that listened today. And this is Stepford. Look forward to Pecan Joe Fishing Game. And we're out of here, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Round of applause.